the secret of the no wind launch is not about doing no wind launching. It's all about forward kiting for hours and hours and hours after you get every single little detail of glider control and you work them all into reflexes one by one. People ask me all the time, hey, can you just give me a few tips? And while I'd love to if I could, it is not about a few tips. It's about hours and hours and hours at super training, dialing in those reflexes on the forward kiting so that you have the weight shift correct, the walking correct, moving the right direction, leaning the right direction, sidestepping the correct direction, all with the very lightest touch of brakes and feeling the exact pressure and every tiny little detail of glider control worked into perfect reflexes where it becomes automatic. The very second you start moving and you feel one riser pulling harder than the other, you immediately ease off on the light side, turning towards the weaker side to allow the glider to kind of stabilize itself. And it, but you can't think about it. It has to happen instantly by feel or there's just no way it's gonna work. But once you get that forward guiding dialed in, every little piece is in there. Then when you go to forward launching, it is no problemo and it's just automatic and there is no fail. You either have control or you don't. Super Mo! Incredible pilot. <laughs> the glider doesn't want to fly up the back of the other glider because once they hit, I can't move forward unless I'm going up. Ooh, yeah. Look at Bo's fingers there. Watch his hands. Look at every little tiny detail. He's just making all these fine little tiny corrections. It looks like his glider's perfectly straight and level, but that's because of all those little corrections. Watch that left hand. Boom, boom, lift, right, left, right, left, 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 lift, go, oh, lift. Making all these tiny little corrections. How does he know? What's going on? How does he know to correct that little teeny piece? And the other hand, how does he know to pull every lighty detail? He doesn't, but his body does because it spent hours and hours and hours forward kiting and feeling the smallest tiny little ounce of pressure. Every little detail, whoa, yo, yo. So I called him off because I could see the rocks kicking up into his prop. Oh yeah. So look at that hand. Look at his left hand there and just watch real close. Boom, 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 boom. Up, down, up, down, up. Down, down, down break, break, left, left, right, left, 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 right, left, left, left. Look how fast he's making numerous corrections per second. And this is a newly trained pilot here. He's been flying you know, matter of months or whatever. And look at that skill and all those tiny little corrections. Look at the wing. Can you see the wing going back and forth? How do you know to make those little corrections and those little responses? It's in the feel, it's reflexes, it's, it's every little deal. You see Joe Blow instructor chuck some student into the air with no training whatsoever. And sure, he could try and turn left and pull right to turn right, but that does not make you a pilot. That means you do not have that control. And very quickly, 
you learn to do it wrong. If you learned it wrong and you only tell the glider which way to turn, you will never ever learn this. You will never learn true and real super control. You just don't. This has to be learned right up front because if you do it right up front, it will become reflexes. You can be sure he is not thinking one bit about what he's doing. He's just looking where he's going and having a fun time and his body is responding. Same with me. I mean, it's hard to even think about what I'm doing. Look at that hand, pull, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. I'm behind him in his wake and I'm just keeping the glider absolutely perfect. And it's all from reflexes. You do not have time to think about this stuff. You feel the smallest, slightest change in pressure and boom, you instantly correct it. He's controlling his altitude and his direction and the pressure of the glider to within ounces of perfection, all balanced perfectly with the amount of thrust that he has to maintain the altitude he wants or to climb or to descend all while going exactly where he wants to go. This is the difference between a pilot who's been super trained and someone who has not been trained properly. Even 10, 15, 20 years later, those who are not trained properly, if they're still alive, you can look at their hands and you are not gonna see that refinement, that perfection of glider control to where you have the slightest little ounce of pressure. This is, and it's basically exhibiting master level skills and he's done it in just a matter of, you know, months of super training and some practice. That's it. He went from never touching a glider to literally master level because he took super training and because he listens and he burns every one of those little details into control. And now he can do almost exactly what you know, the best pilot in the world can do. Maybe not quite to the full potential, maybe he's 80% of perfect, but he's right on the right track. He himself does not even comprehend how good he is because his experience has not caught up to his skill level. So he doesn't have the vast amount of flight time to really understand just how good he is, but he knows he nails every single launch and never messes up. That he does know <laughs> from the launches he does have. It's really an incredible sight when you see a true pilot, where you watch all these other people that were only told to tell it which way to turn, and they are blowing launches left and right and over and over, they flip their gliders over, and they oscillate back and forth violently on launch and swing around in the air, and it's a complete nightmare. One guy even had his brake toggle go in the prop. He had to let go to get in his seat, and when he let go of his brake, it went right in the prop. Whap! Took his prop out, luckily, and he had a motor out landing immediately. That's his experience. Why? Because he didn't learn from someone who truly cares about stacking all the odds in the new student's favor. He learned from someone that doesn't know what the freak they're doing and doesn't give a crap about really being truly honest and doing what's best for the student as opposed to what's best for their pocketbook. Totally different in super training. We love you. If you don't look awesome, I don't look awesome. So I do everything I can to try and make you into an incredible pilot because that's what I enjoy seeing. It puts a huge smile on my face to see people look like Mo is there. Boo yeah. Just watch this guy. There's no oscillation in that glider. He controls his glider and it does exactly what he tells it to within one inch of perfection. So look at that wing tip and look for any oscillation. Look for the glider. Nope, he's telling it exactly where to go which way to roll, how much lift, how much pressure, everything, every little detail, and he's doing it with all those constant little finger inputs. That's the difference between real training, super training, and people that just chuck you in the air with no training whatsoever. Big, big difference.
Do not mess up and go train with Joe Blow. It will ruin the whole sport because you just will have a very bad impression. If you think that's what the sport is, you don't know anything about the sport. You haven't even experienced the sport. You don't even know enough about the sport to understand how huge that difference is between actual skill, like you see Mo doing here, Super Mo, and those who don't have actual skills. Booyah! Directions. Even in the turn, he's got to balance it and keep it perfect. Plus, he's going to start going through his wake here. So we're going through our own wake a little bit. And you can see his hands just making all those little corrections to stay perfectly right where he wants to be. Not a single ripple in that glider. Zero. No collapses, no depressurization. No, no nothing. You don't even see a whipple. That's freaking skills right there. That skills, he, it's interesting because these guys literally, they don't even understand just how good they actually are. They see other people looking horrible and they know they're better than they are, but they don't realize these guys are true masters of the sport. If you got a super in front of your name and you graduated super training with honors, you are truly an incredible pilot. That's all there is to it and you have burned every little detail of glider control into perfection. Let's have some fun. 